the shame on those people who want to make something out of this that isn't there. They have this boogeyman philosophy, and if it's black or brown, it's something that they've got a target on. Yeah. I just think that is just totally uncalled for at a time like this. That was Maryland Congressman Kwesi Fume last night on this very show, talking about the rampant conspiracies being hawked by the right about Tuesday's tragic bridge collapse in Baltimore. It has been a grab bag of right-wing grievances, barely coded racism, and flat-out lies. Noted Jewish space lasers and QAnon conspiracist Marjorie Taylor Greene suggested the disaster was the result of an intentional attack, perhaps by the space lasers. But the most idiotic and racist theories had to do with their newest boogeyman, diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI. A Republican congressional candidate in Florida tweeted that DEI did this. And a right-wing blue check account that's been boosted by Elon Musk in the past just blew straight past the dog whistling, tweeting to its 276,000 followers, quote, Baltimore's DEI mayor commenting on the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge. It's going to get so, so much worse. Prepare accordingly. The post included a clip of Baltimore's black mayor, Brandon Scott. I, I cannot believe I have to say this. Brandon Scott was elected with 70 percent of the vote in 2020 in a city that is 61 percent black. So by right wing logic, a diversity hire would have been a white man, which, of course, is what they want. Only the white Christian men may have the things. And at this point, it's evident what they mean by DEI, right? OK, it means black people. It's the reason the right complained about critical race theory. It's not fashionable to be openly racist anymore in America, unlike what they call the good old days. So referring to a black mayor as a DEI mayor gets the point across, right? So, fellas, why not just say what you mean? You can't stand black people. We get it. You've been heard. What is also clear is all the conspiracy theories are a distraction from the real effects of Tuesday's bridge collapse. Tonight. Officials said the remains of the two victims were recovered. The remains of two of the victims were recovered. Construction workers who had been working on the bridge. Four others are presumed dead. There's also the economic fallout from the port of, ba the port of Baltimore being closed indefinitely. This port is one of the busiest in the country, 11th largest overall. It employs more than 15,000 people and more than 139,000 indirect jobs. And it's the number one port in the country for the import and export of automobiles and farm and construction machinery, a top importer of sugar, and second in the nation for export of coal, and not just coal for black people, Republicans, coal for everybody. Joining me now is Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott. Uh, I will allow you, uh, Mayor Scott, if you choose to do so, to respond to the tomfoolery uh, and attacks on you for having the nerve to be black and also a mayor. Well, I think, listen, uh, uh I know, and we all know, and you know very well, that black men and young black men in particular have been the boogeyman for those who are racist and think that only uh, uh, straight, wealthy white men should have a saying anything. We've been the boogeyman from them since the first day they brought us to this country. And what they mean by DI, in my opinion, is duly elected incumbent. Uh, we know what they want to say, uh, but they don't have the courage to say the N-word. And the fact that I don't uh, believe in their uh, untruthful and wrong ideology, and I am very proud, proud of my heritage and who I am and where I come from, scares them. Uh, because me being at my position means that their way of thinking, their way of life of being comfortable and suffering, and while everyone else suffers, is going to be at risk. And they should be afraid, because that's my purpose in life. And the, by, by the way, you know, the, the coded racism, before we even knew the nationalities of the men, Maria Bartiromo was out there talking about open borders and trying to somehow signal that they wanted to go after the brown people, too, because, of course, that is their other target. We know that the men who were doing this hard construction work overnight, trying to fix the potholes on this bridge, working very hard, uh, were Latino. And, and so that's now on the table, too. We know that this ship, which came from Singapore, was piloted by a very heroic crew from India whose mayday call saved lives, not maybe saved lives, but did. So this is a full-throated attack. But this is also what America is. It is people of multiple races who do the hard work to make America work and literally make it work. Talk about the importance of this port um, and, and how quickly um, you believe it will be back uh, up and working. 
Well, first, I have to talk about those lives that we lost. Those folks came to this country to fulfill the American dream, the dream that they say should exist for everyone, but they really mean just for them. They were working, filling potholes in the middle of the night so all of us That's that right. used that bridge could transit, had better transit. Uh, this port is one of the most important, not just in the U.S., but in the world. And these folks that depend on these jobs, we are going to be working very uh, quickly alongside and following the lead of our federal government, our state government, supporting in every way we can to get this port open back up. But we have to do that safely in the right way to make sure that nothing else uh, uh, happens in, in, the, in the getting it back up and working. Uh, we're going to do that each and every day. Everybody is working here together. We are ignoring all the conspiracy theorists, everyone who's playing bridge engineer at home, who's mm -hmm. never even taken a class on engineering, uh, and understanding that what this is about is showing the world once and again that Baltimore can't be broken, that we are, our spirit is strong, and we will rebuild together and honor those who we lost. And I want to note that two of the, um, the those who have been uh, now declared dead were Mexican nationals. Um, has there been any, is there cooperation happening across that divide as well? Because obviously this is now an international uh, situation, uh, not just the United States, but Singapore and also Mexico. Yeah, our federal partners are leading in that and making sure that contacts with those countries uh, and the families that are there in those countries are happening. Uh, we are all in contact with the families. Right before I got on with you, I spoke with a family member of one of the deceased. Uh, again, making sure that they know that we're going to be supporting them, not just now, but long after the cameras are gone and even after the ignorant tweets stop. I just want to say just personally, and I think from this show, and I'm sure I speak for you as well, we are grateful in this country to the Latino workers who do the hard work. They are on these construction sites all over this country doing the work that you cannot compel a lot of Americans to do, the back-breaking work that we don't even have enough gratitude to give to them. So our deepest condolences to the families of those six who uh, are gone and are lost, and they were lost doing the work for us to make our country better and to make our economy stronger. Uh, God bless them. And to anybody who has anything negative to say about this mayor or those people, uh, we know who you are. We see you. We see what you mean when you say DEI. We get it. Uh, Mayor, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott, thank you so much. Much appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.